Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. It's already been a tremendous homestand for the home side, but they'll try to put the cherry on top tonight. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Devils start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. And he slides it quickly to Pratt. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. On the attack along the boards. Oh, what a stop by Benedict. Puts it on net. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Well, that was a necessary stop on their emotional leader, James. And if he had put that puck in the net, it would have created an energy that would have been hard to stop. Back at the point, they set it up. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Puck grab by Toffoli. Here he is in front. Big time save by Walston. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Here's a feed. There's a save. They have really got the cycle going on here. Fred misses. Takes possession along the boards. The Canucks played along the wing. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. Penalty coming up here. Heischer's going off for interference. Vancouver sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Picked up along the wall by Hoaglander. Sets it in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Taken along the wall by Bouchard. Refs arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Vancouver's in now. Athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's a two-minute minor, but he certainly didn't like it, James. He's going to contest it, but guess what? The official ain't listening. They'll have a lot of time to work with this five-on-three. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five-on-three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. Huge stop by Benedict. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Versus recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. The Canucks win the draw. Receives the pass. and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. The Canucks land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. And it's a quick pass to Hughes. Oh, what a stop by Walston! Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Heischer's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Devils take possession off the faceoff. What a great read breaking up the pass. Vancouver's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They're going to find a way to generate some offense. Looking to break out here on the power play. Yeah. 
Goes it to the middle, and it's blocked. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Vancouver's on the attack. Takes a shot. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. The Canucks go to work on offense. Taken by Duchesne. Sends the feed in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Miller's known to give his team a boost every time he scores. His goal leader zone ability means he likes his actions to speak for him, guys, and it really gets his team buzzing. Tries to get it out of the zone. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. New Jersey's got a hold of the puck now. McLeod's up and ready to get back on the ice. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Pedersen. The Canucks fail to capitalize on the power play. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. Heischer's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Gets it over to Meyer. Makes a move in front. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Moves it quickly over to Hamilton. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Canucks lead it 1-0. McLeod's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. He's got a little jump. No, broken up from behind. And a solid save on the play there. Holtz brings it in from center. Strong defensive effort. Passes it over to Pedersen. Miller's got it along the wing. Let's it go! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Shot! Oh, what a save in front. Scores! There it is! His first of the season, and look at the smile there. the midway mark of the frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Center and feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop! In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Passes out front! Everybody can go Well, with success earlier in the power play, they'll look to set up the overload again. No question about it if they win the face-off, James. It's all about puck movement along the wall, down low. You know that you're moving it. You're all on one side of the ice. But the key is that you got to open up a lane quickly, be able to move the puck to attack. And that's a smart heads-up play by Meyer. And manages to clear the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. by Benicek. Denies him again. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Hughes is a 
star player that can generate great aim chances. Pedersen's accuracy when shooting a puck that's flat and settled on the ice is his snipe zone ability, and it's what makes his shot so dangerous. Look to one of these players to be a difference maker in this one. Back up to the booth. Quick feed to Pedersen. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Here. Miller's ready to take the draw here on this power play. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Here's a chance in front. The one timer! Oh, he gets his glove on that and just enough to keep it out. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Besser. Takes the feed. Fires it. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Let's one go. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. And a successful clearing attempt. The Canucks will have one last chance to move the puck up here on this power play. Driving right to the front. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all by Lynn James and that. Oh, he saved it. Oh my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Just a smothering attack here in the offensive end. And listen to this place light up. And it's taken it in the corner. Moves it around. That doesn't go through as it's blocked. continued push attack. Well, you got to continue to push attack. There is way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. After that huge hit, he is just struggling to get off of the ice, James, and the body language says it all as he's all hunched over. You know that the... Oh, stop the plus! nothing technical about that that is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible james duchene's crossed the line and is on the attack now vanacek's last save was outstanding james i mean it was a valiant effort that's what gets it done it's beyond the skill to be able to make a save it is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him rips it and that goes off a stick and off to the side the Devils gain possession. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. The Devils have it in the offensive end. And he's knocked off the puck there. 13 seconds left. And a solid save there as we play on. Four seconds left. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. What do you make of this one? Vanacek's the only reason that his team is in this game, James. I mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. The Devils look to start the transition game. 
right up the gut into the attacking zone. Puts it on net. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. The Canucks lead here in the second period and they have been the more active team offensively. Vancouver's won the draw. And now he passes up to Pedersen. Vancouver's going to play it from the corner. The Devils gain possession along the wall. Bratz got it in the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Siegenthaler. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Puck scooped up by Miller. They gain the zone from the left side. Here's a sharp angle shot. Answered the call on that play. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Scrum ensues along the boards. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. He says, let's get physical on that play. Feeds the puck over to Hoaglander. The Canucks have it now. And he takes the dish. They've got numbers here. Here's a shot. Scores! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. I love the way they are able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have. And then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Vancouver's extended the lead to two goals now here in the second. They look good tonight. Well, they look great, and I'm not surprised by the score. I mean, they've dictated the pace of play, but it's more about how they've dominated in the shot selection. they put a lot to the net, James, and they've been rewarded for it. Slick feed. Nylander's going to play it against the half wall. Two on one. Here we go. Driving to the net. New Jersey's got possession of the puck. Slides the puck across to Hoaglander. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Nylander's got it to the side. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Duchesne slugging the puck. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. That's a solid check on the play. Here they come on the rush. Oh, the eyes on the play. Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Vancouver's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. The Devils take possession off the faceoff. Gets the puck over to Boyd. New Jersey's in on the offensive Whoa. attack now. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Marino stick handling in his own zone. Lafreniere has made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Past the midway mark in this period, the Canucks have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Maroon. Unloads one. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. And he comes up with it. McLeod's moving it ahead. Quick pass to Holtz. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. One. Denies him. He got all of it. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. The Canucks have it now. And he takes the feed. He's got a step. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he 
challenge the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the pit. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Just apply the squeeze here in the offensive end. The fans are all over it. Here's it around. He's a to Hughes. Blocked in front. Looking, looking. And that's blocked in front. And the defensive team's got it now. And now he tries to get it across to Hughes. Here's a blast. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Well, another sellout here inside the arena tonight. And Cheryl, I got a question for you. You know who likes a winner? Everyone Everybody likes a winner. winner. Yeah. I think I had that tagline, no problem. And this entire building loves a winner, and that's why they're here. They've been following their team who's been doing so many things well, in particular their energy and dictating the pace right from the get-go. You can feel it. It's electric and passionate in here. Late goings of this period. Vancouver's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Duchesne's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Gets the puck in deep. Picked up along the boards by Duchesne. And he makes the save. Vanacek's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. The save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. Vancouver's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Grabs the puck. The Devils take it along the wing. Moves it to Hughes. Handles the pass. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Skates to the crease. Decides to think about it. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Off his stick. Denies him on the slapper. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Great feed from the left side. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. The Canucks have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? New Jersey's generating a lot of offensive scoring chances here, James, but they can't seem to solve the goaltender. Listen, this is when you can't get frustrated. You have to stick with the game plan, continue to move the puck with motion, and drive the paint. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Moves the puck to Heronic. The Devils scoop it up along the boards. Takes the pass. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Pass right back. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Makes his presence known on the ice. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And it's in the net. That's a goal. They're going to count that one. Well, the position is tough enough, and, and then you have these goals that wind up in the back of the net. He deposited it himself, and that's a real tough one to handle. This next shift, this next save, it's huge. The Canucks continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. have also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. From the ball, beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. The Canucks have a big lead here. They've been dominating possession. Everything's about having... He scores! Aye, aye, captain! That's a 
beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. New Jersey's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. With a two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. Vancouver's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Coughs it up on the play. New Jersey's looking to break out of their own end. They've got numbers. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Sends the feet in front, and that's stopped. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. He sure has been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. The Devils win it in the defensive zone. New Jersey's in transition. Here's a short pass to Boyd. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Wallstead. The Canucks have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight, and they continue to lead in the third. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Quick feed, score! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one. And if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. You got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. The Devils desperately needed something, and they finally made it happen. Well, they're in the final frame here, but they got one back, and you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. And he takes the pass. And that skips out of the offensive end. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. Hughes takes it inside his own end. Bank pass feed. Poked away in the neutral zone. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes it to the front. Oh, off his mask. Coaches are always saying you got to give it your all. And this goaltender, well, he's going at it with full force and his full head. This one hits his mask and he gets a jolt. Slides the puck ahead to Toffoli. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And that one's turned away. Vancouver's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and they're a reason they're in the lead. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Seattle's on the schedule next, and tickets still available for this one, so get them before they're gone. In a head to head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Pedersen's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Benichick's got it, and the officials blow the play down. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night, and he recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The same play sometimes is to hold off. And they'll start with possession. He grabs the puck here at the point. Right on the doorstep. Oh, look like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. A save! Coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in your skating practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution, and it winds up as a goal. 
Vancouver's now up by two here in the late stages of the third. It feels like time is on their side. Time is on their side, but they're going to have to finish it. And the clock seems a little thin right now for them. And on the other side, you've got an urgent team. If they can get within striking distance, they'll get their netminder out. Oh, look out! Oh, what a collision into the boards. Slides it up to Besser. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. The Canucks have the puck in the corner. Centering feed! And he denies that great opportunity there. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Canucks have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Pallant's got the puck in his own zone. Quick pass to Bouchard. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Vancouver's got the puck in the corner. And it's kicked away. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Here's a race for the loose puck. Grabbed along the boards by Bouchard. Passes ahead from the right side. New Jersey's got the puck along the boards. And he takes the feed. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Vancouver's looking to break out. Sends it quickly to Duchesne. Coming up on the final stop! And they run it back with another! Yeah, back to back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides are turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, so many goaltenders love to drop to that butterfly position and make themselves as big as possible. That's what he does. He tries to cover up the majority of the net, but there are some holes, and the shooter finds one. Vancouver's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Marino's got it in the defensive end. Takes it from the right side. And that's intercepted by Bouchard. Here we go. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Takes the shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with a glove save. Vancouver's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals.